Very, this one I'm very excited for. Mufsar Evloyev. Say it again. Mufsar Evloyev. Say it again. Mufsar Evloyev. <laughs> You've been back to say <laughs> This guy, he fought against Lentz yesterday in the prelims. Mm. Man, what a fight. This Man, this guy is a high-level striker. What, what, He's only 26. What weight class? Um, what weight class? Uh, you know, I've, I've checked that again. Mm. <laughs> 145? You have to... Uh, let's say 140. Actually, yeah, you're right. Yeah. It was 145. But uh, this guy, this guy has crazy angles, crazy striking. It was actually, like, it was, it was a pretty funny fight. Like, um, What was so funny? Um... So in the first first two rounds uh, with Lens, he kept going for this for guillotine over and over again. Each time he would go for a takedown, he would transition into like a guillotine. And actually two times in, in the first round specifically, he almost got him. He almost got him tapped out. He cranked the neck so bad. I don't know how Evloyev, um, like he, honestly, I don't, think, I don't know how he got out of it. But uh, it just kept going and going. Mm. But what happened eventually is that he just started, like he just kept, uh, kept landing these strikes. And especially in the second and third round, he was putting in volume. Uh, if you actually watch Max uh, Holloway level, he's react. It wasn't Max Holloway, but it was it was up there though. He was doing like angle changes. He was doing like crazy combos, and he and he was barely hit too. But uh, if you watched uh, whose reaction was it? It was uh, DC on the commentator booth, right? Mm -hmm. This guy was impressed. He was like, like he's not at the at the Max Holloway level, but yeah, but this guy was like doing crazy combos and everything um towards the end of the third round uh, i think especially um honestly i thought he was gonna like uh, knock this guy out mm. but he stood in there he uh you know it went the distance but it was a hell of a fight did you watch it or no no i i didn't um uh, i don't I, I i don't typically watch um too much prelims i i pick and choose just because there's there's so many fights these days especially with the ufc um, but I, you know, you know, DC loves his Russians, right? <laughs> DC loves the uh, the AKA team and his Russians. <laughs> yeah, so this was a split decision win actually, for for, for okay, him. Okay, that was some BS though. If you if you ask anybody, if you ask Twitter or anything, it was uh, it was a full three thing, a full three rounds that blow of. Okay, so uh, let's 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 break it down. So uh, round one, um, each landed seven significant strikes. Um, out of 15 they both threw and missed and landed the same exact amount um, any takedowns I don't know if they took each other down that's it was it was a lot of grappling that round so in the it whole fight in the whole fight um, there's only three takedowns um, so in the first round uh, Nick Lentz actually got a submission attempt but uh yeah twice <laughs> but with the with the guillotine joke but mafsar got um got a takedown in the first round so okay so you say he edged him out in the first round yeah okay so oh it looks like he landed 37 strikes but only seven of them were were significant so yeah, okay he was mm -hmm. outlanding nick lentz and he took him down okay so yeah. we'll give him the first round uh second okay. round was 20 significant strikes to um 28 so nick only landed 20 and then his opponent landed 28 um his opponent had 34 total uh strikes um and he landed one takedown so again he took he he landed a takedown but he got taken down as well um and then the last round was 47 to 47 significant strikes for mafsar and nick got 19 so that was, that was when the magic happened man if you watch it live this guy was putting it in the clinic so it looks like it should have been a 30 27. Uh, maybe the first round would have been a little bit close but even then he was outstruck uh nick lens was outstruck and was controlled for for a majority of the round so it says like in the first round he, nick lens was controlled by uh for three minutes and 22 seconds of the fight so yeah maybe the the judges were watching it a different was actually fight. a pretty cool story too uh when they're when they talk about both fighters yeah so with nick lens he's actually uh, a full-time stock investor <laughs> yeah so he's so he's like a day trader mm. uh and then if he he's in he's in university uh for for law and computer science mm. so both these guys are pretty well balanced but uh yeah it was a it was a good fight i want to see more of Evloyev. yeah at, at 145 he's I undefeated he's undefeated and he's only 26 so he's a prospect 
So I think uh, he has a good future ahead of him. But I think do you think he can beat uh, Islam Makhachev? Islam Makhachev, no way, because Islam is at 155. So he but, can move uh, up. If he moves up, man, I don't. Honestly, yo, listen. Honestly, honestly, if that fight happened, in terms of like just pure striking, I'm going with Evloyev. <laughs> Evloyev is Evloyev is high level striking, bro. If you watch that fight, it was like very impressive. So, but with wrestling, no. Okay, you know, so, like, so let's think of a, a real matchup. How does he match up with a uh, Korean Zombie? Korean Zombie? Yeah. Yeah, but like, why Korean Zombie? <laughs> because he would be, uh, he would be like a fighter that would uh, potentially catapult him to like the top five, but it might be too early for top five. So somebody like, um, who else is at one forty five? That, that you no can... thing. Let's do Korean Zombie. Yeah, let's do Korean Zombie. That, that might be so too with the fast. Fight with him and, yeah. I know, but like for example, with um, with him and Ortega. Yeah. Like you, like you saw the way that like uh, that like he got like completely. Uh, just outclass on the feet, right? I think that um, if you compare the striking, Ortega and Evloyev, mm-hmm. I mean, I'm not going to compare it yet, right? But let's but say gonna like it, in a yeah. few years, okay. I'm going to do it anyways, yeah. right? <laughs> but uh, <laughs> if you compare the striking, Evloyev, he he just has so many of these uh, uh, these ankle changes, yeah, so many angles, and, and he was and he was barely hit sometimes too. He was using more of like a it was weird. He was he was fighting like a Philly shell almost, mm. like he was like he was outboxing. So it was cool, but I think uh, okay, so him versus Korean Zombie. Korean uh, Zombie is a little too I, high. He's ranked uh, fifth currently at featherweight. So let's give him uh, Shane Burgess. That would that, be a good matchup. Or Dan Ig, one of those guys. Those are 11 and 12 ranked. Uh, Ryan Hall, I think maybe stay away from Ryan Hall because he's a high level grappler. He, his leg locks are are well known around the world. So. Uh, and then well, he has a wrestling base though. And then you have, have. Yeah, yeah, but I I don't like Ryan Hall's one of those guys that you just don't want to fight just because he's just he's just he's so nonchalant like he's he's very look he looks very lazy in his in his fighting style, uh, but then he'll catch you in these leg locks that 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 you like it taps out majority of his guys uh, the, the, his opponents when he puts them on when he like, he actually gets a, gets a hold of his opponent. So I would say um, maybe Shane Burgess, uh, Dan Ig, uh, maybe uh, Josh Emmett might be asking too much, but uh, one of those guys. Oh, Max Holloway. <laughs> uh, Bryce Mitchell is is also an up and coming guy. Uh, I would stay away from Bryce Mitchell, Edson Barbosa, Ryan Hall. Those three stay away from those guys. Um, it looks like those three guys will make their way up to the top ten uh, eventually. So maybe. So ease, ease this guy in, ease, ease our boy in, um, and, and he'll make his way up. Uh, you especially want to keep his undefeated streak, <laughs> so don't face him. Don't match up against uh, Zabit because Zabit is <laughs> Zabit Magomed Sharapov. Zabit is out, is out here taking no losses as well. So we'll, we'll see.